Now this is Howard LeMade Stadium in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, site of the 2014 Little League World Series. Now some of the best young hitters in the country will be there, and I'd like to use their swings to show what it'll take for a batter to reach their maximum potential at the plate. Now for a batter to reach their full potential at the plate, they'll have to have their upper body in a fully loaded position. I'm going to use this clip of A-Rod here now to point out uh, the keys to having a fully loaded upper body. Now, first of all, let's take a look and notice that the inward turn of that lead shoulder. We call this the inward turn. And when you're in a fully loaded position, that lead shoulder should be pointed, for a right-handed batter that is, should be pointed over toward uh, basically where the first baseman would be playing. Uh, that way you're actually almost got your chin on the joint of the lead shoulder. Now that is the inward turn. Now when you're inward turn that far, notice that the hands in would appear almost behind your head back here. Notice right here, you can see that at A-Rod he has uh, the uh, hands uh, just showing. Now another thing that you'll also notice is that the back shoulder here, I mean the back elbow, will be protruded back about to the position we see here. Uh, this is what you see in a fully loaded upper body. Uh, notice the similarities between A-Rod's launch position and the young hitter from Las Vegas on the right. Uh, this boy hit five home runs, has over 20 RBIs so far in the Little League World Series. However, uh, this is not the launch position we see in many of the young hitters today. Uh, we'll cycle him forward here and notice that uh, as he prepares his launch position, he gets very little inward turn to the lead shoulder. And therefore, he never really hide, hides his hands behind his body here. Uh, as he launches the swing, we can see his hands all the way through. And therefore, this, this young uh, batter could have really benefited from really getting into a more loaded position. Uh, this young hitter from New Mexico fairly well represents uh, what we see in the loaded position of most of the batters that hit home runs in the Little League World Series. Uh, notice the inward turn of the lead shoulder and how he's hitting the hands back behind his body and of course then we can see the lead elbow. I want to point out one more thing as we watch his swing. When you start off with the back elbow here, notice how as you come around it keeps the back elbow rotating with the back hip and therefore you wind up in a very powerful uh, contact position. A uh, real good swing, young man. Uh, here's the launch position of another young hitter hitting a home run in the World Series. Uh, notice once again the inward turn of the lead shoulder, the hands are well hidden, and of course the back elbow is back behind. And also notice as he rotates, that back elbow stays back at the back hip and then rotates with the body to contact. Very good mechanics. Here's another little guy that competes with the big guys. This is five foot nine, 175 pound Dustin Petroya. Uh, take a good look at his launch position, and you can see how he generates that great bat speed. Uh, he can actually compete with guys that are weighing in the 230 pound class, and all because he has these fantastic mechanics. Back it up, there's his launch position again. Notice how that elbow doesn't swing down underneath, it swings around. And this really allows him to generate a lot of power. Uh, here is a batter that I think really has a lot of potential. I really like the, the, the way that he accelerates his batter head rearward as he starts his swing. Uh, here at bat speed we refer to that as THT, the rearward acceleration of the bat. However, notice uh, that he never really gets into the loaded position here. You can see the hands all the way through. And uh, therefore, I'd really like to see uh, what he could do from a really loaded position. I'll use this young hitter to point out that there's no way for a batter to reach their potential at the plate uh, from a launch position like this. In other words, he never got an inward turn, he never brought the hands back, and no matter what he does from this point, there is no way to generate the power and bat speed for him to reach his uh, potential at the plate. In closing, I would suggest that all of you young hitters uh, practice getting into the loaded position that we see here. 
uh, this young hitter from, from uh, Las Vegas uh, hit this ball, one of his five home runs, about uh, 300 feet. So let's take a look at it. We'll cycle through it. Uh, notice how the back elbow comes down to the hip, rides with the back hip all the way to contact. And then, like I said, this ball went about 300 feet. So I definitely suggest that uh, getting into the proper loaded position is really going to help your performance.